the next chapter is all about transport, and I've done a lot of work in the transportation industry. In fact, over the last 10 years, I guess, tra designing things in the transport industry, particularly aviation, has accounted for 50% of the workload that, that's coming through in my studio. And, um, but it doesn't only include things in the aviation business, like private jets, which I'm always designing, the odd private jet. We've got two on the go right now. But uh, I started off doing cars, and this was a concept car designed for Ford back in 1999. So this was quite a big project. And uh, there are these fantastic gatefolds in the book which have all of my sketches. And that's only one gatefold. There are three of these that show every single sketch that I did on this project. Funny little anecdotal images, a Japanese cartoon that someone did. Um, this was found in India. It was a, um, a traditional Indian painting with my <laughs> picture of my car in there, which I have a copy of, very strange. And lots of images of the thing being made, because I'm really obsessional about documenting and recording how, how the process evolves. That was the boot, which was kind of a cool idea, I, th I thought. Copied, of course. More inspirational shots. The wheels were so loosely inspired by the Lunar Rover. Um, you know, so wherever possible, I've tried to include images of things that have influenced me. Just tons of stuff on the car. This was the instrument panel. That that is. The entire instrument panel is there's there are no no more controls, and all of the instrument the 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 the, um, the analog um, dials were manufactured by my watch company, and uh, they're controlled by a, a central toggle and they operate like eyeballs, so you can kind of orient them like eyeballs electrically. But this 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 was my idea at sort of refining and distilling the amount of controls you need to operate a car, and I got it down to about eight things. So I figured you know that that's all you really need to to use a car, because I don't really believe in instruction manuals, but I generally tend to throw them away. This is another crazy project, Kelvin 40, a small aircraft that was designed, you know, again, you know, just loads and loads of digital, you know, uh, the, these, are, these are images of um, um, numerical aerodynamic simulations from the Onera Aerodynamic Institute in France, showing that the thing could, could actually fly. We did like pretty extensive wind tunnel testing on the thing. Um, and this is a surface mesh used for the numerical simulations. Um, this is a cutaway of the aircraft showing you know, how it was built. And then the actual building of the thing itself, a process in which I was really sort of serious, heavily, heavily involved. In fact, you can see me there assembling the canopy. So I kind of pretty much built a lot of this, this thing, this object. And these are just pictures of it at Le Bourget Airport in Paris, um, illustrating the fact that it's kind of full size, <laughs> and not just a model. Another project design, I designed for Astrium, which is the um, company owned by EADS, manufacture launching launch vehicles for satellites and things, rockets in other words. Um, and that project was done in 2007 and is still being developed. It's for suborbital tourism, space tourism. Uh, bicycles, A380, into the interior of the A380 aircraft, which was a pretty big project that I did for Qantas, working very, very closely with Airbus. Um, yeah, even the things like the lavatories shows all of that concepts for the interior so that's for business class and these are the real the real images and I've done lots of airplanes over the years but 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 the difference with that project was that I literally designed everything knives and fork cutlery I designed a range of luggage tags for Qantas I don't think anyone in the there's no other airline in the world that have luggage tags with RFI chips inside them so the graphics on uh, Lance Armstrong's time trial bicycle and a boat that I designed for Riva a couple of years ago. Um, again, you know, loads of sketches. 
pictures of me in the factory building the thing. Um, this was the prototype, working with the guys at Riva. All of the digital files that we, or the digital imagery, screen grabs of um, models of control sticks, steering wheels. We did that for every single little detail, seats, you name it, hinges, trying to work out the geometry of the hinge that opens to get down to the cabin. And, uh, well, there's more. I mean, there's tons and tons and tons of stuff. A jet pack that I designed. Oh my God, it goes on and on. Private jets for various people. 